Hi, I'm Caroline Bramwell. I'm up here in Snowdonia for a long weekend, as this weekend it is the Snowdonia Slateman Triathlons. I'm taking on the Slateman Savage, which is two triathlons back to back. Sunday is the big day for the Olympic distance try, and on Saturday it's a bit of a warm up with the sprint distance. I'm now training six days a week with eight sessions in those six days. A mix of swimming, some of it is pool, some of it is open water and the rest of it is lots of long cycle rides and now running. The triathlon on Sunday, which is the Olympic distance triathlon, is going to be a swim in Lake Padden. We've got to do a thousand metre swim. Uh, we come out of the water pulling our wetsuits off as we go, literally peeling them off as you run through into transition. Uh, you whip your wetsuit off, you put your helmet on, you jump on your bike and then we head out for the bike ride which is 56 kilometres. We're going up through the Lamberis Pass, you come back into the transition point, leap off your bike and switch into your running shoes and then we do an 11 kilometre run going up the rock quarries. The swim is probably going to be the most daunting bit for me. Because it's open water and it's in a quarry, it's very dark, it's very deep, and that makes it very, very cold. So we do wear wetsuits, but it's still going to be bitterly cold. Fortunately, I live by the sea, so I have been able to get in the sea and try to get a bit of acclimatisation going. But probably that's the bit that I dread the most here, is getting in that cold water, really. Once you're in, you're all right, but that's the terror. Throughout the two years, I've seen her graduate to another level with her training. And I think that's testament to her commitment and her resilience and how passionate she is about the course that she's trying to promote. She's the most amazing lady because she's able to balance um, a very, very busy um, work life, being a professional woman, and also being a really good mum and a wife. Um, I think that in itself can be quite difficult, but also to do her training on top of that and to be consistent with that. Relieved, probably, that it's all over. Uh, that, that was hard. The weather was horrific. I mean, look at this. It's just typical, absolutely typical. You come in on a, on a hot, sunny finish, but actually the rest of it was atrocious weather out there and it is a relief to get finished, to be honest. <laughs> the swim was first and I really, yeah, I, I had a big wobble, really major wobble right on the edge of the water. And it was like, oh, and I needed the support around me. And so I had not only teammates help me, help me get through that bit, but complete strangers were like in the water with me. And then just to come in on this tunnel, I wasn't going to go for a sprint finish today. The legs just wouldn't have done it. So it was just jogging, but uh, it's nice. I've crossed the line. I've got the two, I, I've bagged a savage now. So yeah, sprint yesterday and Olympic distance today. So yeah, done. <laughs> I've been using the Trio Silex flange extenders, silicon flange extenders. And the more I've used them, the more I've trusted them and loved them. I know it sounds very cliched, but actually I, I put them on every time I do a swimming session because they've stopped the water getting under the flange at all. And I will literally do more than one day on the trot. I will swim one day and then go out on a bike ride the next day without having to change them. They're really soft, very flexible. I've recommended them to other people who have found the same, which is great to hear that other people are getting the same benefit from them. They're, they're like a fine skin and they really have been part of my everyday Stoma pro products that I now use. I think as, a, as an athlete, I, it's strange to call myself an athlete, you know, a year ago I wouldn't, I was just a, a mum who has a bit of a dabble of a swim and a run and a bike, but actually now with the training I feel more like an athlete, I'm training like an athlete and I'm starting to think like an athlete. Um, yes, I'm still novice, but I've got a club, I'm a member of a, a tri club and the support from those people has helped. But I, I really do feel now, I will do it. I will do it. In my mind, I have to do it. For a start, I don't want to have to do this all again next year. The amount of training, I really don't want to have to spend that much in my training next year just to try and finish something. So this year, I'm determined to get that Ironman status. And if I put all that effort in now, when I can, 
then uh, yeah, I, I truly feel that I'm going to get there. I really do feel I'm going to get there. I've got half Ironman to do in three weeks time. So with Slate Man, then half iron, and then five weeks later, it's Ironman. <laughs>